Hey everybody, Dino here, and welcome to Mass Effect 2 Part 4, I think. Um, so real quick, I uh, just want to let everybody know I'm going to be zooming ahead to the, uh, the combat, basically, portion to walk everybody through this. The first 20 minutes or so of this is dialogue, and the last 10 or so is uh, combat, and there's a few things I want to talk to you guys about uh, during the combat stuff, so if you want to zoom ahead to the 23rd minute mark, you can catch that dialogue, otherwise you can... Uh, or my commentary, otherwise you can watch the rest of the dialogue and pick it up when we get there. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resist- <laughs> Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done.
on, let me in. Go on, he's expecting on. Me. What are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. Close enough. Stand still. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one move. Don't fuck with Arya. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. Just tell me how to find him. The local Merc groups are recruiting anyone with a gun to help them take down Archangel. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morden Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. How do I get to him? If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? You could say that. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Come on, let me in. 
I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy, so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Well, we might have a way in. But getting out could be interesting. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes. It's pretty damn personal. I'll get going. Good idea. That should slow him down. Nice. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell out. Friends are awful. You're in the wrong place, Freelancer. You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you Freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. 
I should get going. About time. This might be useful. Kafka. Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you going to give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. In a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. Doesn't look like Archangel's got much time. What the hell are we waiting for? We'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Gear up! Come on! Oh. Ah. Can't reach the top. Moving to cover!
Archangel? Shepard, I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. We can't just sit here and wait for them to come to us. It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Hey guys, welcome back to the second half of the commentary for this video. So, before I get into this uh, little combat segment, I wanted to talk about a question somebody had asked. And I apologize, I think there were a few out there and I made a note of them and uh, I think I remembered to uh, grab one of them so I apologize if I didn't answer your question or comment uh, feel free to leave it again and I'll address it the next time around um, somebody asked a really fun question about the global cooldown Mass Effect 1 versus Mass Effect 2 um, anyone who played Mass Effect 1 you'll notice obviously a huge difference off the bat because you can now only use one ability at one time versus in Mass Effect 1 um, you can basically chain all your abilities, and especially when you got the refresh down on them, it was, you know, in my opinion, it was an absolute blast. It made, you know, playing as anything but in the depth seem kind of silly. But um, it was a lot of fun, and uh, I pretty much agree with what that commenter said, that, you know, I'd argue it was probably a little bit overpowered, but at the same time, um, it was an absolute blast, and it felt like you could really chain combos and do a lot of fun things. And I think they were trying to let you do something similar here with the ability to grab squad members and utilize their powers in a similar way that you could use your own in Mass Effect 1. But I know from watching Bruce's playthroughs and um, just hearing people talk that it's not nearly as easy to, to uh, do that on console. So a little bit easier here. At the same time, like, you know, some people might want to choose a squad member for other reasons than simply besides their powers. You know, there's guns and you know other people actually even you think Morden's annoying as fuck you won't want to choose him regardless of how good or bad you thought he was so there's other reasons to choose squad members too so I don't think it would necessarily be a bad thing to go back to that I had a lot of fun with it too so that's my stance on that um so this is like I said I'm trying to contrast this against um you know somebody who uses cover more often um, this is still, like I said, I, I apologize, I still feel a little, this is a little noobish. Um, I feel like I'm using cover a little bit too often, I'm not charging quite as often as I should be. I feel like I should be using it almost immediately off of cooldown, and I'm not. I think I'm getting better with it as time goes on. I have some really, really, really cool combat segments coming up. But I still think this is a pretty good representation of how, um, just by zooming around with charge and refreshing your shields to full, you can smash everyone in the face and not worry about dying so much. A um, few quick notes about this particular segment. So these barrels right here are essentially the key to blasting a hole in this segment of the game. Um, 
you know, the doors, or I'm sorry, these little pillars that you can hide behind, you know, they're okay, but going behind these barrels, no one can hit you with anything. And occasionally the guys seem like they can get to the side and hit you if you're behind the pillars, so barrels are a great idea. Um, there's also a little dangerous segment that comes up. I think they announced snipers are coming out or whatever. Might be right here. Um, they come out not so much with snipers, but with SMGs, and they're just absolutely brutal. Um, I died, I definitely died here once or twice, uh, trying to pop in there and smash them. They're just, their fire is just, anyway, it's really, really powerful. So be careful of that. Um, otherwise, man, I, I don't know. Like I said, it's a little puzzling, a little puzzling why I feel like more people don't uh, play like this. I feel like, you know, on one hand, it's kind of like a high risk, high reward thing, but as long as you're being smart about it, I feel like dying Dying isn't much of an option other than as you can see me here getting the targeting errors all around and um, you hear him say you can't target him and you can see my button being just spammed fucking massively. So there's a great example, should have died, got down to what, 5-10% health, hit charge, ran out of there, no problem. This is why I feel like, uh, you know, this class, if you had no targeting errors, would be borderline overpowered because you could reliably use charge every time you activated it, oof, you'd be an unstoppable killing machine. As it is, it's, you know, it works most of the time anyway, so not an issue for the most part. Um, this next segment coming up, uh, well, I'm probably at the end of it, but uh, you're basically just going to see me here uh, pegging away at these guys with the guns, a uh, long distance with a gun. Um, the reason being, I don't know if it's the same thing on console or, or not, but uh, if you accidentally hit that uh, mech out there, then your teammates start shooting at it too, and I can't remember if it shoots at you as well, but it's almost impossible to be up there with a shotgun and not be uh, and not actually accidentally hit it, so it's just a whole lot easier to sit back here and pick them off with this pistol. Um, I'm actually not going to be using squad powers either because I have the AoE pull and I think I have the AoE concussive blast, I can't remember. Um, but it's it's a lot safer if you don't want to hit them. Like I said, I don't... My guys actually might be shooting it right now. Uh, I'd love to see him actually just last through this and take on Jareth all by himself and I don't think I can make it that far. I think... I think... Uh, what's his name? Whatever blue guy up there. I think he's actually shooting him right now. And there's not much I can do about it, but I think I can keep my teammates from shooting him as long as I don't accidentally hit him. Um, yeah, I, like I said, obviously a bit of a fucking pussy style way of playing, but at the same time, if you want to make use of this robot, there's not much else you can do. And you can do this segment no problem without him, but it's, you know, it's a little fun to mix it up and do something different. Um, and then Jareth should be peeking his head out pretty soon. And as soon as he does, he's going to get butt fucked. Um, just about anybody in this game has a Vanguard from my memory running against any one guy. It doesn't matter how strong or powerful they are because a shotgun and a Vanguard charge and a melee, plus using abilities on them, will keep them on their toes the whole time. And there's little to nothing they can do to you. So, uh, like I said, uh, the only class I think is possibly more powerful than the Vanguard might be the uh, Infiltrator. And you know, I've never played a uh, geared out Sentinel, but the Sentinel might do a great job too. So, who knows? So, here's Jareth. Um, I don't, yeah, just alternating between shooting, meleeing him. And there's absolutely nothing you can do. I don't even know if he's got a shot off yet. Yep, oh, yep, thank you for finishing him off, Garrus. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I did get close to dying one time, but other than that, I mean, no issue. So, stay tuned for part four. Have some great stuff coming up.